Hey, this is uh, 88 HVAC. I'm going to be going over um, this Watts manifold installation here. And what we got going on is a stainless steel Watts uh, radiant manifold, three ports. So basically, we have a supply and a return coming back and forth. And um, we actually get to choose what side to plug off and put our purge ports and um, what side to put our ball valves on for our supply and for our return side. Um, typically what you want to do is put your return um, with the actuator on the return side. Um, these caps here actually screw off and I'm going to put um, uh, 24 volt um, actuators um, that open and close this valve so I can control each circuit um, of this uh, manifold. Um, this manifold can be installed um, in many positions, um, it could be this way. Um, I'm actually going to be installing uh, this manifold upside down this way. So this is why I put my purge cord in the bottom on the return side, because um, I'm actually going to send my hot water up through the circuit, back down here, and then purge it out through this side. Yeah. So when this when this manifold comes. It doesn't come with uh, anything, it just comes with threads, it comes with two ball valves, it comes with an end cap, and it comes with a bleed port. Okay? What's this bleed port for? You open up down the road when you have everything uh, hooked up, and you uh, run your water through, and this is how you purge all the air out of your system circuit by circuit. So when you're all done, uh, your uh, radiant system uh, has no air in it. Uh, because air in a radiant system uh, is not good because it could actually get into your pumps and cavitate it. <laughs> Everything uh, stops working and your pump overheats and then it smokes. So, not good. So, when the manifolds come, they come bare stainless steel. And what I like to do is I like using this Blue Monster um, tape and I thread it around my threads here. Then afterwards, I'll back it up with some blue magic to, um, dope. And I'll put it around my threads like so. Okay, because I don't want this thing to leak. So again, my return side, my supply side. So then what I'm going to do is, this is fun, doing it one handed, is to get my ball valve on there. Don't forget that little gasket and thread it on and tighten it up. After I get everything uh, hooked up, um, I'm going to be putting it, installing it up there and hooking up my, my PEX tubing to it. So, um, I guess that's it for now. Stay tuned and uh, we'll go over the next step after I get this manifold put together.